beginning of my competition days, um, I started competing at 15. I started training at 11. I think everybody knows, you know, I grew up in a bodybuilding household. My mom was a competitive bodybuilder. My stepdad at the time was a competitive bodybuilder. So, you know, I basically saw it throughout my whole life from the age of six to the age of 11. And then I began. Um, my first show was, uh, it's funny because my coach came up to me and it was a bodybuilding show. It was a high school bodybuilding show. Uh, they wanted two people from every high school um, all over California to compete in this teenage show. And so my coach obviously picked me at the time and uh, that was my first show. And from that point on, I just continued to compete in teenage shows. I did a total of 13 teenage competitions, which teenage shows back then was really big. Right now, you know, it's not real popular. Teenagers are doing other things. But back then, you know, it was probably go to a teenage show and there's like, you know, there'd probably be 15 to 20 guys, you know, in the show, which was amazing. Now that I don't think they have that category anymore. Um, and uh, my most memorable time as a teenager uh, was probably, I think it was the last show I did as a teenager. And I was 19, actually I was 18. And uh, I tried a little, you know, Arnold psychologically, psychological warfare. And so I, I actually went and weighed in with the open men. And at that show, I weighed in at 231 and I was a teenager. And I was the heaviest open men in the show. So I was the heaviest competitor on the show, but I was a teenager. So I weighed in with the open men. And then when they called teenagers to line up, I walked over and lined up and people are like, what are you doing? You're an open man. I'm like, no, I'm a teenager. And everyone's like, oh shit. <laughs> so that was, that felt incredible. And then the open men were like, oh, thank God he's not in our class. You know, obviously this was a, you know, a little local level show, but it felt good. You know, and the, uh, when I went on stage, I was 231 and the next guy closest to me was like 170, you know? So that was kind of a, that was kind of an awesome experience for me. Um, but on the flip side, that happened to me also. There was a show that I went in and uh, Andrew Bernarski showed up and he was the, the, the actor on the program. I don't know if you guys remember the football movie, the crazy ah, steroided guy. And he weighed in at 258. So there's always someone bigger. <laughs> there's always someone better. There's always someone bigger. There's always someone tougher. And uh, you know, he walked in, I'm like, oh, what the hell is he doing here? He won the Teenage USA's the week before. Why are you in my show? <laughs> So uh, obviously he beat me. So, um, but you know, it's it's uh, to his its own. But uh, my teenagers were great. Um, I enjoyed bodybuilding, and uh, my first men's show was I did the California at the age of 21, which um, I honestly thought I was going to win. I mean, I was winning all the teenage shows, and I uh, I showed up and I didn't make top five, and you know I just couldn't believe it. And my family showed up, my mom showed up. She came down from Sacramento and I didn't make top five. So I uh, went back to the drawing board and I started doing some more local level shows, you know, winning. And then I went and hit the Cal again and then that was that was my time. So I, uh, I actually won the Orange County overall. Five weeks later, won the California overall. And then my next goal was the USA Championships. And uh, that was a year. I was gonna wait a year, put some size on. And I actually uh, put on 46 pounds of uh, muscle in that year. And I know that sounds impossible, but I placed seventh in the USA. So obviously I was in you know, considerably good shape to place seventh. Um, I weighed in at 278. And that is, uh, you know, I was, that's the biggest I've ever been in my life was uh, a rip 278. Um, so that's, uh, that, and that was, I think after that show, that's when the fire just kind of fizzled out of me as far as bodybuilding went. I had other things going on. I was buying real estate, I was doing this and I had other things going on and I still had the love for it but it wasn't my number one priority. Up until that point, bodybuilding was my life. That's all I cared about. I didn't care about my girlfriend. I didn't care about this. I didn't care about my job. I didn't care about my family. Like, all I care about is that trophy. That $5 trophy meant more to me than anything, you know, and it's a sport. And that's, uh, that's if you're an athletic competitor and you want to be number one, that's how you have to be. You know, you have to want it more than anything else in the world. And you know, that's, that's the way I was. When I decide to do something, I'm gonna do it. I'm gonna do whatever it takes and uh, put all the effort in I can. And you know, that's just, that's just the spirit of a champion. And uh, you know, realistically, I should have done the USA the following year. And I think I could have easily won if I had continued that route, but uh, I didn't. I started doing other things, you know, and I took three or four years off from bodybuilding, got out of the scene, wasn't involved. And then all of a sudden out of nowhere, I'm gonna do a contest. <laughs> so when did a contest, but that's not the way you compete. You know, as a competitive bodybuilder, you have to keep pushing every single day for that goal. You can't take four years off and then come back. You know, it doesn't work that way. And I've learned that. And as far as other things in my life, that's what I continue to do. I just 
put everything towards it and I keep pushing, pushing, pushing until I hit that goal. And in bodybuilding, um, I didn't do that. You know, I would push, I'd get frustrated, I'd give up for three or four years and I'd come back. Give up, come back, can't do that. You gotta keep pushing, 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 pushing every single day until you win that uh, that show, whatever it is you're shooting, shooting for, which the USA's was, California was my main goal in life. But once I won the California, hey, that ain't good enough. You know, I gotta win the USA. So I was shooting to win the USA's and you know, I gave it one year and then I just, you know, didn't keep it going. So, uh, but I'm happy with the way things turned out. I got a great sponsor now. I'm traveling all over the world, signing autographs and uh, getting popular and I don't compete. So that's a beautiful thing so I can enjoy it. I can eat whatever I want, do whatever I want, work out any way I want, build my body any way I want and, uh, and just have fun with it. So, uh, so I'm loving life. And here I am at beautiful Venice Beach. What more could I ask for, right?